All right, guys. As I tear up the little pieces for my compost, let's have a chat. What is homesteading? What is sustainability? And what is zero waste? And there is so many different definitions for all those things. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to produce as little to no garbage as possible. And I can hear you all laughing thinking, well, that's impossible. Well, I would agree that it is almost impossible to get to zero. And I know I will not get to zero. But the more I can do, the better for the planet. And I'm also thinking, well, what's homesteading? You know, way back when in the 1800s, uh, homesteading was staking claims to land and living on the land for a certain amount of years, and then it became your homestead. But that definition doesn't really exist anymore. There's really no more land to claim. And then again, there's a big debate on who has a right to claim it. So I thought, well, people say in order to be a homestead, you have to have animals. I don't agree with that. I don't think you need animals to have a homestead. I think a homestead is wherever your house is wherever your place of residence is, wherever you sleep at night. That could be your homestead. Now, it doesn't matter if you have a thousand acres, 500 acres, two acres. It doesn't matter if you have half an acre or even a quarter of acre. You live where you live, and that's that. Yes, we all dream of bigger and better things, but you gotta do something where you are now. So when you mix sustainability with homesteading and with zero waste, even by making tiny small changes, you could stop a lot from going to the landfill. So I'm just going to take this and throw my scraps inside. There we go. Okay, this is the compost we're using this year. This is where we dump everything. Every year we rotate our compost. I give it a little bang, lets the bugs and spiders know I'm coming. And I open it up and dump it in. Okay, once I've dumped it out, I take my hose and I rinse off the bucket to clean it. And I just throw it in. You want your compost to be a little bit wet. You don't want it to be dry. And if you think it's too dry, just spray water in it. Okay guys, here's our compost that we had sitting for one year. And we have two composts. We rotate them each year. And this is the end result of one year. So we're going to uh, sift it or strain it. And I have just chicken wire on two pieces of wood on a wheelbarrow. So we're going to literally scoop it from here, dump it in here to get out the big pieces. Don't have to move it around. Yes, okay. Okay guys, so we're going to take the big, big pieces and we're going over to our other compost. This is the one we've been using this year, so it's not broken down at all really. We've been turning it 
So the big pieces will be going here and it'll continue to break down for another year and we'll stop using this one uh, completely. Okay, so now that we have our black gold, I call it, free compost out of our own food scraps, we're going to take it to the raised beds we have. We have three raised beds over here and they need some compost. They need some help. Okay, so let's take our black gold and throw it in our raised beds because these raised beds need help. Um, these three beds are full of just black earth and they were filled up I think two or three years ago. So they need some amendments to help them out. And this stuff works amazing and it's free okay guys now that you're staring into the empty compost that we're going to be using this year you'll see we put down a layer of cardboard we made it soaking wet we put down a small layer of just dirt and now we're going to put down a layer of any kind of lawn clippings anything green grass twigs leaves and then I'm going to soak the whole thing to make sure it's wet. And then we're going to start using it this year. And all my fruits, vegetables, uh, tea leaves, coffee grinds, eggshells will be put in here. No meat and no dairy will go in here. And we'll build it up for the whole year and get it full and then have free compost again. <laughs> 